Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin in Davos promising that the United Kingdom will be in the front of the line when it comes to free trade deals with the U.S. after Brexit. Steve Mnuchin saying the U.S. does support the U.K.'s, Brex UK's Brexit vote to leave the EU. All this is diametrically contrary to President Obama's comments a few years ago. Let's listen. Our focus is in negotiating with a big bloc of the European Union to get a trade agreement done. And UK is going to be in the back of the queue. With me now, host of Fox News, The Next Revolution. It's a terrific show. Former senior advisor to former UK Prime Minister David Cameron. He is Steve Hilton. Good to see you, Steve. Hey, Liz, great to be with you. What, what a hilarious uh, reminder that was of, of, of a massive irony, by the way. The Democrats go on and on about how the Russians interfered in our election here. You know, they're right to point that out. But they're perfectly OK with a Barack Obama interfering in the Brexit vote, aggressively telling the British people to vote one way. Of course, it didn't work. Yeah, I didn't think of it that way, that President Barack Obama was basically threatening the entire people, all the people of Great Britain saying, if you yeah. vote for Brexit, you ain't going to get U.S. trade deals, right? It was, it was an, amazing, uh, an amazing thing to do and actually really counterproductive. The British people really resented that kind of bullying, um, even from oh, obviously the closest ally uh, of the U.S. But it's really good news that this turnaround has happened. And actually it's a win-win both for, for us here in America and for the British. Theresa May really needed some good news because the Brexit negotiations are not going well for her. She's getting bogged down. The EU itself is really resisting uh, doing any kind of deal that helps the UK because they want to set an example to other EU countries who are thinking of leaving because they're all fed up with the bureaucracy. The EU want to say, if you dare leave, we're going to make your life hell. So she needed this good news. But actually, it's really good for the administration here to be able to, to showcase their whole different philosophy towards trade away from that kind of multilateral bureaucratic trade system to one where countries do deals with other countries in a way that, as the president keeps describing, is reciprocal. That's a really different way of thinking about it. And yeah. if he can do that with the UK, that's great. Yeah, President Trump went over to Davos to sort out the elites. Maybe he could do it coming back here to D.C. and sort out the elites here. I mean, the media, though, is saying the president got an icy reception. He wasn't really booed in his speech. There was some, talk, you know, talk in the audience about, you know, his talks about, talks about the free press. What did you think of his meeting with Theresa May? Do you think it went off well? I thought it was fine. Look, um, she, she's not in a strong position politically. So uh, you've got to remember that President Trump is not popular in the UK. She uh, has to be careful about having too close a relationship, as it were, because that doesn't play well for her politically. And I thought but it was fine. But maybe she should stand and, and up. Maybe she should do what President Trump did and stand up, take a position and be strong. Maybe she just go full at it. What do you think? I completely agree. I mean, the reason that the, the Brexit process, I think, is getting bogged down is because it's moving away from the vision of a strong, clear, free trading Britain engaging right. with the world. And, you know, forget okay. about the bureaucrats in the EU. Just do what's best for your own country.